Welcome to York Reacts. Now today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to give some insight into how I got my job a long time ago at Rockstar Games. So now I wanted to kind of talk about this because this is some kind of cool info that you can kind of use on your own if you're kind of an artist in the industry and you're looking to kind of break in or if you're just kind of anybody that wants to break into the industry. This will this video is for you and I think it'll help you out. So to give you a little bit of a rundown and a story and to take you back a little bit, because I got this job a long time ago in, I think it was October of like 2012 or something. So it was a long time ago. It was over 10 years ago. So a lot has probably changed over there at Rockstar and how they hire people. But usually it goes, you know, similar to something like this. So all of you guys know about LinkedIn, right? Well, LinkedIn for the longest time has been something that I use to just put my resume on there, chat with a, you know, a few people here and there with the industry, and it wasn't you know, too much. They started changing it eventually, kind of like Facebook, to where they had like a, um, a timeline and a feed and whatnot. And you would show um, other people's um, profiles. And what happened was it showed me a profile and I saw somebody who worked at Rockstar Games and he was a lead animator there. And I thought, oh man. And this was at a time where I was like kind of in between jobs. I was looking for work and I thought, you know what? I've always wanted to work at Rockstar Games, right? Because here's the thing, like a lot of you, I played their games for a long time. So it started with me with Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And Vice City was just a game I could not put down. I played that game every day for so many hours. And so I thought, ooh, it would be so cool. What an what a you know honor, what a dream come true to go work on one of the next Grand Theft Autos, right? Like, oh my God. So I hit up the lead animator on LinkedIn. So what I did is I went to the messaging thing and I tried to add him as like a, and back then you could add someone and send them a message. So I went in there, sent him a message. said, hey man, I just saw your profile. It says you're a lead animator over at Rockstar Games. And I told him about, you know, how much I love their games and how much I would love to work there and all that stuff, right? Because this is really, truly a passion, right, of mine. And if you show that kind of when you're messaging someone and you give them kind of a background of why you love their games, then that can go a long way, especially with Rockstar. So if there's something I want you to know about Rockstar Games is that they really, really love to hire people that love what they do, right? They don't want to hire someone who um, just wants to come in and get a paycheck and leave, right? They want someone who's super passionate about that franchise even, right? The Red Dead franchise, the Grand Theft Auto. So it's very important for you to kind of express that, I feel, whenever you do kind of reach out to them. And that's kind of what I did just naturally because I was so into Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, and what they do and all that, right? So... What happened is the lead animator ends up seeing my message, right? And on LinkedIn, it tells you that this person has viewed your profile, right? When I when he messaged me, he goes, it's funny that you reach out to me because I was just looking at your demo reel and we were just talking about how you might be a good fit over here and how, you know, I'm like, what? I'm thinking to myself, no way, because that's a cool kind of you know, serendipitous moment and all that and everything kind of connected. It was really cool to be able to kind of reach out to him and him already kind of checking out my stuff. And so that led to an interview. So they reached out to me. They said, hey, we'd love to give you an interview. Um, so I talked over the phone, I believe, first and had an interview over the phone. And then they flew me out there to do a uh, in-person interview. And a lot of times in the video game industry, you're going to find this a lot which is if it's a very big company like Rockstar and EA and all this stuff, a lot of times they want to meet you in person. They want to also, um, the process is a lot longer. So like Ubisoft, for instance, and all these different companies, sometimes you will go through the hiring process for several months of them going through paperwork and multiple, multiple interviews. Your, their time frame is kind of different than yours. <laughs> okay, they're in no rush to hire you usually. And you're usually in a rush to get hired, right? That's just the name of the game. But a lot of times with these big companies, it takes a long time to kind of get in there and, and get everything kind of figured out, you know, the nuts and bolts. And so 
don't be discouraged, by the way, if you apply and you haven't heard back from them in two weeks. That's like completely normal. A lot of times a company will take a minimum of two weeks to, to even message you back. I just got a rejection email from Wizards of the West Coast that I applied like three months ago and they just now replied like, oh, sorry, we've chosen someone else. <laughs> like I done forgot about that job almost. You know what I mean? It's been so long. So don't be discouraged if you see some of that, you know, when you're applying at some of these big places and, and whatnot. And this video and me sharing the story with you a little bit is to show you that you can reach out to someone and just blindly say, hey, what's up? I love what you do. I would love to work over there, right? Because that led one thing to another for me. Cut back over. They now bring me out. They fly me out there. And um, what was really cool is they sent a like a big stretch black car. I don't, I don't think it was a limo, but it was a black car to come pick me up at the airport and bring me over to Rockstar for the interview. So where are you headed? And one thing that I'll never forget, which was kind of funny, is it just felt like this like movie moment or something because it was kind of funny. The guy goes, the he opens the door, you know, hi, are you here for Rockstar, Mike York? You know, and I'm like, yeah. And he goes, well, you don't look like a rock star. <laughs> Get in. And I'm like, at first I kind of was like, what? And then I just started kind of cracking up to myself because he's he is used to kind of picking up. I found this out is that this guy is kind of used to picking up people for interviews, right? And he's probably cracked that joke a bunch. And it was a good joke because I'm kind of dressed differently. I'm not as a real rock star. And it, it was just good. The, the pun and just the joke in general was funny. And once I got there, I had an interview with multiple people in the room, multiple animators, because I was interviewing for an animation role. So why should we hire you? What? And the big thing that I want you guys to take from all this is that when the interview was all said and done and I ended up getting hired, the one thing that they had mentioned was that they really kind of liked my passion for what I was doing there at the job. And that just came off naturally because I really did have that passion, right? Like GTA was something I've always wanted to work on. And so it was such a cool honor to, to get the opportunity even to be sitting in that chair with those people, right? I'm sure that if you kind of get to that spot, you'll be feeling the same way. And you can show that kind of passion through the gaming that you've enjoyed over the years that they've made and, and whatnot. Now, I want to touch on something that's very important. And that is that, you know, an interview can only get you so far. Now, a lot of times to even get the interview, you have to have the demo reel, right? So you have to have the animation to prove yourself. You have to have the kind of resume, the background. A lot of these things don't just connect by you hitting up someone. So don't think that you can just go and message people and go, oh my God, I love Rockstar Games, so hire me. It, uh, <laughs> you're going to spam people who don't want to be spammed. So this is kind of geared at somebody who is really actually, you know, got something kind of going so far. You have a little bit of a resume built up. You've worked at one or two places, right? Because it's really hard to get your foot in the door at a really big place if you've never worked anywhere in the industry before. I just want to make sure that you guys kind of understand that little tidbit of information. And because that's very important, you know, there's a few people that work at Rockstar who'd never worked anywhere else. And that's because they got very, very lucky and fortunate to kind of get into Rockstar early on, or they lived right by the studio and happened to know someone and they, they were training and stuff. So it's very, very rare for that to happen. So like I said, don't think just by messaging someone that it'll happen that way. But this is a very, very unique way to kind of get into the mind and the the kind of the comments section or whatever you want to call it of the person, right? You want to kind of connect with them. And LinkedIn is one of those ways to do it. I've gotten one or two jobs through LinkedIn like that. And they say a lot of times like it's all in who you know, but sometimes it's not that. It's about you taking the time and the effort to go and personally go and message people and go search for this and apply at that. And, you know, in order, you know, when I got my job in the industry, um, and all the jobs that I've gotten so far over the years, I've applied at tons of studios. I never was just like, oh, I want to work here. Oh, I only want to work there. I applied at every single place I could because you never know what kind of opportunity can kind of take you a different way and take you into the path that you're supposed to go. So I just want to mention that and make sure that you guys understand that little point. So hopefully this kind of little bit story has 
sparked something within you guys, the viewers, so many of you guys watching out there. Don't be afraid. I want you to go out, keep sending those resumes, those different things to these big companies. Also, I'm going to make some more videos about my time at Rockstar Games, what it was like working on Grand Theft Auto V, what it was like working on Red Dead 2, and I'm going to try to release some really cool videos and put together some really compilations of my work, my demo reels, and show you guys the animations I did in those games. So if you're into that type of thing, hit the subscribe button. I would love to see you here, see you in the comment section. I also stream games sometimes on the side, so if you're into that, I'll put a description to that below. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.